हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्टडे आई हैड डन ए वीडियो ऑन एस ओ एम ऑफ द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ समबडी नाउ टू पीपल हैव कमेंटेड ऑन दैट वीडियो एंड दे सेड वी वांट एम ओ एम आल्सो टू बी सॉल्व सो टुडे आई एम मेकिंग ए वीडियो इन विच आई विल बी डूइंग ए फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मशीन और एम ओ एम Again, I have selected a paper of October, November, two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. We'll solve some problems on that. Now, question number twelve B. Question number twelve B for five marks. Calculate the power transmitted. Calculate the power transmitted. P is how much by a belt running over a pulley of 600 mm diameter. Diameter of the pulley is 600 mm, right? At 250 rpm, so capital N is 250 rpm. Ah, uh, the coefficient of friction between belt and pulley that is mu is 0.3. Angle of lap that is theta is 150 degree, and maximum tension in the belt that is T1 is 2500 newton. Now this is a problem for five marks, a very simple mark. Question number 12B. This is 12th question, second part. First part is theory. Explain with the neat sketch step by step on P U drive. The second is this for five marks. Now, here what we want to find, well, what we are required to find is P, that is power. Now, here the centrifugal tension is to be neglected. Is to be neglected. We are not going to take centrifugal tension into consideration. So, if centrifugal tension is not considered. Then the formula for P is P1 minus P2 into V divided by 1000 kilowatts. This is the formula, right? Now uh, I know T1. I don't know T2 and V. That has to be calculated before we get P. He has not given centrifugal tension, or he has not given the mass of the Belt also mass is also not given, density is not given, so that means centrifugal tension is to be neglected. Therefore, this is the formula to be used. T1 means maximum tension, that is tension on the tight side. T2 is tension on the slack side. Okay. Now V is velocity of the belt here. So velocity of belt is given by pi d n by 60. It should be meters per second. So this should be converted into meters. It is 0.6 meter. So pi into 0.6 into n. N is 250 divided by 60 divided by 60. This will give you v in meters per second. It is uh, pi. Into 0.6 into 250 divided by 60 equals 7.85 7.85 meters per second. This is the velocity of the belt. So I got this. Next to find T2, I know T1 by T2 is equal to e to the power of mu theta. Here, here. This is called the tension ratio. Tension ratio. T1 we know. I know mu. I know theta. So I can get T2 from here. Now <coughs> T1 is 2500 divided by T2 is equal to e to the power of mu is 0.3. Theta is 150 degree. That should be in radians. So it should be multiplied by pi by 180 to convert it into radians, right? 
So now I have made a substitution. This will be 0.3 into 150 into pi divided by 180. This will give me 0.785 e to the power of that. e to the power of that will be uh, shift in button 2.19. It is 2500 divided by T2 is equal to 2.19. So T2 will be equal to 2500 by 2.19 2500 divided by 2.19 will give us 1141 1141.5 Newton this is T2 tension on the slack side now I got both P2 and V, T1 is given in the problem. If you make a substitution there and calculate, we will get the power in kilowatts. So, substitute here. P is equal to P1, 2500 minus 1141.5 into V. V is, I got 7.85 divided by 1000. So first, subtract 1141.5 <coughs> from 2500 minus 1141.5 equals into 7.85 divided by 1000. That will give me 10.66. So this is the power transmitted by the belt. Carries 5 marks. Next, 13B. Problem number 13B. Again for 5 marks. Five marks. It is again on belt drive. Uh, no, this is on gear drive. Gear drive. Uh, 13B. Two parallel shafts about 500 mm apart. That means C is 500 mm. Approximately. About means nearly about means it is approximate it can change slightly or to be connected by spur gears one shaft is to rotate at 300 rpm n2 is 300 rpm and the other is to run at 100 rpm 100 rpm or the velocity ratio is 3 determine the sizes of the gear that is find d1 and d2 D1 and D2. Very simple. Here, <clears throat> here, we know that N1 by N2 or N2 by N1 is equal to D1 by D2 D1 by D2 so N2 is 300 divided by 100 is D1 by D2 so D1 by D2 is equal to D1 by D2 is equal to 3 or 3 is to 1 now this is one relationship we don't know both D1 and D2 this is one relationship, therefore you can say D1 is equal to 3 times D2. Then this is called this as 1. Next, we know D1 by plus D2 
divided by 2 is C. So D1 plus D2 is equal to 2C. So C is given as 500. So D1 plus D2 is 1000. 1000. So you put instead of D1 you substitute this 3D2 here. 3D2 plus D2 is equal to 1000. Therefore 3D2 plus D2 is 4D2 is 1000 mm. So D2 will be equal to 1000 divided by 4 that is 250 mm. Day of one wheel will be 250 mm. Right. The other wheel D1 will be 3 times D2. So 3 times 250 that will be 750 mm. So these are the two sizes of the D1 and D2. D1 is the pulley which is making lesser number of RPM and D2 is the one which is making the greater number of revolutions. So this is it. This is again a 5 mark problem, a very simple problem. Next, 14B. 14B, a vertical shaft, a vertical shaft 150 mm in diameter rotating at 100 rpm rests on a flat end of a footstep bearing. The shaft carries a vertical load of 20 kN. Assuming uniform pressure distribution and coefficient of friction as 0 0.05, calculate the power lost due to friction. This is what is asked. So 14B, again for 5 marks, 14B. A vertical shaft of diameter D is uh, 150 mm. 150 mm. Then it is rotating at 100 rpm. 100 rpm. It carries a vertical load of that is P. 20 kilo newton. 20 kilo newton. Assuming uniform pressure distribution and coefficient of friction, mu is 0 0.05. And uh, what we have to calculate is what is the power lost. So this I will use some other. It will be W. We will take it as W. Calculate the power lost due to friction. Now, this is a problem on bearing, flat pivot bearing, or it is also called as a footstep bearing. Now, here. The formula for power last due to friction is 2 pi nt by 16. This is the formula. Now, to get p, I should know n and t. n is given, n is 100 rpm. I have to get t. t is the torque. Torque lost due to friction. Torque lost due to friction friction is, he says, assume uniform pressure. Normally in bearings we assume uniform pressure. It will be 2 by 3 mu w r. Mu w r. 2 by 3. Mu is given as 0 0.05. W is 20 kilo newton. R is half of D. R is D by 2. That will be 75 mm or it will be 0 0.075 meters. 
So if I substitute it in meters, 0 0.075, I will get this in kilonewton meter. This I will get in kilonewton meter. Now, uh, 2 into 0 0.05 into 20 into point. 0, 0.075 divided by 3 equals 0 0.05 0 0.05 kilonewton meters 0 0.05 kilonewton meter it is so this is the torque last due to friction that is T so P power last due to friction will be 2 pi nt by 60 now because this is in kilonewton meter, if I directly put it there, you will get the power lost in kilowatts. 2 pi into 100 into 0 0.05 divided by 60. 2 into pi into 100 into 0 0.05 divided by 60 gives me 0.52 kilowatts, 0.523, 0.523 kilowatts. This is the power loss due to friction. It carries 5 marks again. Alright. Again it carries 5 marks. Next problem 15. Problem number 15. For 10 marks, it is on again bearing, conical pivot bearing. A conical pivot bearing supports a vertical shaft of 200 mm diameter. This is 15. A conical pivot uh, diameter is, day of shaft is 200 mm. 200 mm. It is subjected to a load of load of 30 kilonewton. Right, 30 kilonewton. The angle of cone it is 2 alpha is 120 degree. Angle of cone is 120 degree. Coefficient of friction mu is 0 0.025. 0 to 5. Calculate the power last in friction. Calculate the power last in friction when the speed is 140 rpm. 140 rpm. Assuming uniform pressure. Assuming uniform pressure. Right. It carries 10 marks. Again there, in this problem also, the What we have to find out is the power last due to friction and uh, power last due to friction and uh, the formula is the same 2 pi nt by 60. Now here uh, T will be equal to assuming uniform pressure 2 by 3 mu w r by sin alpha sin alpha right it's a full conical pivot no truncated it is a full conical pivot bearing so this is the formula so 2 into 0 0.025 into w is 30 kilonewton into r is uh, 100 mm r 0.1 meter R is 0.1 meter divided by 3 into sine of alpha 2 alpha is 120 so this will be 60 degree alpha will be 60 degree so so many 
kilo newton meters because I have taken the, uh, W in kilo newton and R in meters. I am going to get this in kilo newton meter. In the previous problem also we had done it in kilo newton meter. Here also it will be in kilo newton meter. Now we will calculate this. We will calculate this. 2 into 0 0.025 into 30 into 0.1 divided by 3 divided by sin 60 will be equal to Two into point zero two five into thirty into point one divided by three divided by sine of sixty equal to I am getting point zero 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 eight three three kilo newton meter uh, P will be equal to two into pi into N is one forty into T is point zero 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 eight three three divided by sixty that will be this multiplied by 140 multiplied by pi multiplied by 2 divided by 60 0 0.0122 kilowatts 0 0.0122 kilowatts this is the power lost due to friction similar problem that also but this carries 10 marks. Let us take one more problem. The problem number 16 that is on balancing. Balancing of revolving masses. There are four masses B1, M1, M2, M3, M4 are the four masses. They are 100 Newton. 100 Newton, 150 Newton, 150 Newton, 120 Newton and 130 Newton. These are the three masses. The corresponding radii are that is R1, R2, R3, R4. They are given the radii 0.225 meter. 0.225 meter next 0.175 meter 0.175 meter next is 0.25 meter next is 0.3 meter 0.3 meter and the angles measured from M1 so M1 means theta 1 is 0 Theta 2 is Theta 2 is 45 degree Theta 3 is 120 degree and Theta 4 is 255 degree 255 degree Calculate the position and magnitude of the balancing mass required if its radius of rotation that is R is R is 0.3 meter. What is M B? Or this we can call as R B. What is M B and what is theta B? This is the question. This carries 10 marks again. Now after this, there are two problems of uh, I think 10, 10 marks each on camps. Yes. There are two problems on, of 10, 10 marks on CAMS. So this finishes this paper. One paper is, one question paper is solved for you. 
Now, doing it analytically, analytically, we know sigma h1 is w1 or uh, sorry, m1 I will take. m1 r1 cos theta 1 plus m2 r2 cos theta 2 plus m3 r3 cos theta 3 plus m4 r4 cos theta 4 that is you have to make a substitution 100 into 0 0.225 0 0.225 cos 0 plus m2 is 150 into r2 is 0.175 175 into cos 45 45 degree plus m3 is 120 into r3 is 0 0.25 0 0.25 into cos cos uh, 120 plus 120 degree plus M4 is 130 into R4 is 0.3 into cos 255. This will give you sigma H1. Then sigma V1 will be same M1. Let us do this. Let us first finish this. First we will finish this. Hundred into one hundred into point two two five one hundred into point two two five into cos zero plus hundred into point two two five into Cos of zero cos zero zero is one Zero. No, this is not giving proper response. This calculator is not good. Anyway, you have to find out this. This you will get in Newton meter because M1, M2, M3, etc. are in Newtons and R1, R2, R3, etc. are this thing. Newton meters then sigma v1 you have to calculate that will be m1 r1 sin theta 1 plus m2 r2 sin theta 2 plus etc etc there are four so four you will get this also you will get as so many newton meters right then after this uh, mb mass of the balancing mass into its radius is equal to root of sigma h square plus sigma v square. We have calculated sigma h and sigma v substitute here. This is given. So mb will be equal to whatever value you get here by squaring this and taking the square root. Whatever value you get divided by rb will give you the mass in Newton. And to find theta b, theta b will be equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of sigma v by sigma h plus 180 degrees from m1. This is the formula. So you will have to do it. You try this. My calculator is not giving proper values of sine and cos. So 
I will not be able to do it. You can calculate and do it. I think I have done four or five problems in this. What I have not done now is two problems on the camps because some you asked me to do some problems on the MOM also. I have done it. If you have anything, you can request me. Again, I will do it as much as possible. Thank you.